guys. So, I've got some really bad news for you. Last night, Mom and I went to Bunko. And we were leaving. And we were walking out to the car. And Mama was... I was walking with Mama because there were steps that go down the walkway. And I looked back towards the house and I left the door open and... They have dogs, and I didn't want the dogs to run out, so I started walking back to go close the door, and when I, when I turned around, Mama was, Mama had fallen down. She, there was a step there that she didn't see, and so she was, down on the ground, face, face first, and she was calling, Jana, help me, Jana, help me. I can't believe I was so stupid. Why did I let that happen? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the tears, but I just want to let you guys know, and please, please lift her up in prayer. I think she's okay. I took her to the hospital. We were there all night. I didn't take her to the hospital. The ambulance came and got her. She has, they did a CT scan, and she didn't have any bleeding on the brain, but she's got a really bad cut there, and her, she's got a really bad black eye there because she fell on it. And her lip is really bad swollen. She's got multiple fractures in her pretty, pretty face. But they said there's nothing they can do about those fractures because cause she, I guess when you, you know, when you break bones, there's just nothing they can do. They can't put a cast on it, so. We're on our way. I was at the hospital with her all night. We just got, they just let us come home, let her go home at six, but now we're on our way to pick up my daughter from college because she got to move out the dorm today, so my husband and I have to go get her. So. Oh boy, baby. Just doing my video. I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh boy, I'm just vlogging. It's okay. I'm video. just vlogging and telling about mama. <laughs> So I just, please you guys, just keep her in your prayers. The phone's going to cut off as soon as he starts it, so check with you later. So now we're about almost up to pick up my daughter from college, and I just wanted to continue the story and tell you about Mama. So she fell down, face first, hit her head, her face, she looks really, really bad. But the good news is she didn't break a hip. She just broke her hand. And her face is all banged up and beat up. Her poor, beautiful, beautiful face. So I just feel like, how could I have let that happen? How could I? I'm supposed, on my watch, I'm supposed to be taking care of her. I'm supposed to stay with her. We went out to the, I said, Mom, I'll get you in the car and then I'll come back and get my friend. Kathy needed help getting her wheelchair in the car. I said, I'll come back, take get you to the car, and then I'll come back. And I didn't even get her to the car. No. No, I turned around. I turned around and checked. Then that door was open. I didn't want the dogs to get out. So I went back to close the door. And Mama kept going, and there was a step. She didn't know it. How could I have done that? How could I be so stupid? I just feel like stupid. Stupid. Just, how could I have let that happen? If I can figure out how to insert a picture, I'll put it down there below and I'll show you Mama. The thing is, the doctor said she looks worse than she really is. And she looks really, really bad. And 
And I don't know if I told you this in the first segment, but she broke her hand and she's got fractures right there in her face and her eye is all swollen. Black, black, black eye. Lip is swollen. But the worst part is that it's bleeding in her nose and she keeps swallowing it. And that's what you Oh said. boy. So I'll continue this later. Hi guys. So we're back home from getting my daughter now from school, from college. So she's all moved out of the dorm and she's back home. And right now it's about nine o'clock and I don't know anything about mom. I haven't heard anything since I dropped her off with my sister at six o'clock this morning. I hope, like I was telling you before in the last segment, she, her nose was bleeding really bad. So she kept, it kept going back and she would swallow it and it would make the blood, make her very, very nauseated. They gave her anti-nausea medication, but when you swallow blood, there's nothing that can make that nausea go away. So she kept throwing up and throwing up and throwing up. And that's the worst part of it. She just couldn't catch her breath. She can hardly breathe because she can't stop getting nauseated and throwing up. And that's really bad. Plus, just the way she looks, just it just looks so, so awful and so beat up and bruised and banged up. And, mm, and her poor hand. She broke like three or four bones in her hand and they just put a temporary splint on it, but still her fingers are kind of mangled up and how's she gonna do hauls with her fingers mangled like that? Why did I, why did I let that happen? I should have been more careful. My husband told me, he said we have we both have elderly parents and they're like, it's like they're two years old. You cannot leave. It's like you cannot leave a two year old for one second while you go do something else for just a moment. You just wouldn't do that with a two year old ever. And you can't do that with mama and you can't do that with Dorothy, unfortunately. And he didn't say it in a mean way or anything. It's just the fact, it's just the reality. That's just the way it is. It's like, it's like you have a little tiny baby and you have to be right next to them all the time. And I failed. I didn't do that. I failed. And it's my fault. It really is. It's truly my fault that that happened to her because if I would have been watching her the way I should have been, I wouldn't have ever done that for my kids. I would have never left them like that for a second. Thank you guys for watching. Just please keep mama in your prayers. And if you're not the praying type, just think positive thoughts for her, please, that she'll heal as fast as possible and that she won't get any other complications or you know, sometimes elderly people, when they, when they're immune, they get something else happens, and they, their immunity goes down. They sometimes get shingles, and he, she's had shingles before, and that's really bad. So I just pray that, that she can heal and not get shingles or anything, because she's just a little delicate. You know, she's not that big, and she's just, she's just a little delicate thing. I'm so sorry that that I have to come on here and look like I do and have to tell you and just give you this news. I just, I absolutely hate it, especially with, you know, we're planning her party and everything, and I don't even know if we can have that now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your prayers. I'll keep you updated as much as I can. As soon as I find out any more, I'll let you guys know. And thanks so much. Bye.